guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today, we're covering another top eight decks. Today is number seven. We're covering Victor from Brazil uh, playing ADP. But we already covered ADP one time, but this one is a totally different build, which makes me happy because there's two different ADPs in top eight. Uh, that were kind of different. Uh, so you have, you know, their ADP, Ultra Creation, Ultimate Ray, and that's what we're really kind of basing off of. There's no Keldeo in this deck. We're just like, all right, we'll just, ult we'll just Ultimate Ray and power different attackers outside of Keldeo. Now, you kind of can just, you know, power up other RCS Diago Palkia. I mean, you're doing 180 damage with Two Shot, and then you're taking four prize cards, and you can break up like a Dadini and win the game. You have cards like Drampa, which is 70 and setting more damage, which is 140, plus the 30 from Alter Creation is 170. And then you take three prize cards off of the Dini. You have Lakaria Malmetal, which will just destroy the um, the Gardevoir matchup. Kragnal is really cool because it has Frozen Lock, it does 10, and your opponent can't play nine cards from their hand during the next turn, which is great. You kind of just win bird control that way. You beat uh, Doll Stall that way. So that is why Kragnal is so, so huge in this deck. But we're playing Green's Exploration because we don't have any abilities like Keldeo. So you can search for two trainer cards and put them into your hand. So in this deck, we got Cosmic Catcher, bringing Pokemon to Dimension Deactive. You still got Great Catcher as well. And you just finish for a supporter cards. Great potion to heal your GX Pokemon for Poke Gear to search for supporter cards. You got the one communication because you really don't have a way to search out Trampa and Kragnal outside of using. No, you just don't have any way at all. Like you literally don't. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got three reset stands to punish your opponent. You got two switches, uh, of course, to switch your opponent. You're a Pokemon. Four attack call, which is broken, broken card. Uh, search for two tag teams, put them in your hands, which could be support cards or Pokemon. Two chaotic swell to punish your opponent. But we also playing two power plants. We're making our GX and EX have no abilities. We have one Chaneler, 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 I don't know how to say her name. Uh, but it makes for all effects of attacks on you and each of your po remove all effects of attacks on you and each of your Pokemon. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of where this like, does this work in like the mirror match? Can you remove the effects of ADP? Does that work? I don't know. I don't know how that ruling works. I haven't looked it up, but we'll find out today. If you know how this, if you know why this card is used, let me know down below in the comments. We'll, we'll wait a second. Hold, take a sip. Sponsor Titanic. I'm just saying. Uh, if you have an idea of what Chanel Ch Ch is here, let me know. Uh, we have four Cynthia Caitlin. Put a supporter card from your out of your hand. You can't use Cynthia Caitlin or a card you discard with the effect, but you may discard a card. Oh, when you play this card, you may discard another card from your hand if you draw three cards. So it's better than ta uh, better than Coach, whatever Coach Trainer, because it gets you a supporter card and draw three cards. Uh, we have four Green Select Exploration. That's the whole point of the deck. Uh, one Guzman Hala to search for a stadium card, and if you uh, discard two cards, you can search for a special energy and a tool card. Very cool. That's why we're playing one of each uh, special energy, so you can Guzman Hala for it. You're playing two Malo Alana to switch your bench with the active, but you're also going to deal 120 damage. Combine this with a great potion. Your Arceus Diago Palkias are living forever. One choice ammo, which is going to help against the uh, Charizard stuff because they can't do 300. Uh, they can do 300, but they can't do 310, so they can't one-shot you. Uh, one of each blend energy, uh, unit energy, sorry, they're not blend, they're units, which, of course, goes with the Guzman Hala. Five metal and five water. So we're going to play this deck, see how it works. I imagine you just load up Arceus Dialga, and then you just load up another Arceus Dialga, and then you go crazy. Uh, we haven't tested the deck just yet, but it seems pretty straightforward, right? I can't see, you know any other way to really kind of talk about the deck you just use green's expiration find what you need heal your pokemon up and then you just swing and then you do it again and then your opponent's like all right you took four price cards now i have to knock on another one and you go okay didini come here because you know they played a didini down and then you just win the game you also could just like knock out two didini gx's which is pretty neat uh let's use alter creation so we'll see I like the format right now. I'm really excited for the format because we're looking at top eight, and I haven't discussed this yet. And all of top eight was different, except there's two Mewtwo's. But outside of that, the two Mewtwo's are different.
difference. So even then, like, that makes me happy. So the format's so wide open right now. And, and outside of that, we saw a bunch of decks that did well. You had Blissel on Pidgeotto. You have uh, Pidgey Control. You have a Guard of, Sil uh, Guard of Sylveon. You have a Nagano Guzzlord. Uh, there's a ton of different stuff in the format right now, which makes me really happy. I'm happy. The format's so diverse right now, so I, I have no idea what what to play right now if i were to be playing competitively and that's why i'm glad i'm not so we're sitting here drinking coffee and uh you know just chilling okay so press done i mean if this is like some like bird control or something then we've just opened up cryogonal and then that's really good <laughs> uh, i feel like it's not i don't i feel like it's not that situation <laughs> I feel like what we're playing against right now is definitely, um, I think we're definitely playing against, oh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this to guaranteed. We could just do this to draw more cards. Uh, I think we're playing against bird control. If I was to take a random guess. Um, yeah, that's fine. Look at there. In there. Alright, so the problem is, do we want to put this on, do we want to bench another one of these? I think, like, we have to, because, like, what can we really else do? I'm really curious as what they're playing. I think it's both something on Pidgeotto, if I was to take a guess. I mean, next thing we're going to Malolana for a unit energy, go for Alter Creation, and then from there, we just have to cross our fingers and hope we can survive enough turns. Um, yeah. That's pretty much the name of the game. So we see this for more Pidgeys. It doesn't allow him to grab a Evil Selfion, so it doesn't look like we're threatened right now. But at any moment, he can, like, attach, welder, go crazy. Um, but he has to discard a bunch of energies. If we find a uh, choice summon works with GX EX, so that doesn't work, unfortunately. There's a Pidgey. Pidgey. Zora, what's wrong? Come here! Come here, Zora! Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a both selfie on. Oh, and a fire energy. Hmm. This is kind of scary. Oh, and, oh, goodness. Oh, man. What do we do here, guys? <laughs> hmm. I could. It's so risky, what I wanted to do. But we're going to go here. I think I'm going to go with the... I know this is weird. I'm actually going to go for what I think is a safer play. Okay. Because we're saying, hey, you need a lot of energy to watch out this guy. So, that... Hey, Zora! Where are you being? Your collar's off! Zora's running around without a collar on now. Um, Because if they whiff the knockout, we custom bring this guy up and knock him out. That's all I'm saying. And they're gonna probably have one of these. So that is the that is the point. I think that's what we're gonna try to do here. So let's see if he can hit it or not. I mean he's got a bunch of cards. We can go after Pidgeotto. Or we can go after Basalfion. Hey Zora Zora. What you doing, kitty cat? You want to come say hi to the people? Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi, spooky kitty. Okay. Bye-bye. So did they find a welder and a skateboard? Okay. Okay. Okay.
and eight, six energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if half of those energies, he's got to knock out. If not, we're customing this guy up and blowing it up this turn. And powering up one of these guys. So that's what it comes down to. What does my opponent have? Whoa, there's a Jirachi fire. Okay, so I don't think they have it. Okay. Unless they go like Jirachi to Flint. Switch Flint. And I go, whoa, that's enough. Oh my goodness, there's the Flint. Come on, have the switch too. Pidgey. If we see just a pass, I'm feeling confident. All right, there's a fiery flint. Hmm. Hey, Zora. Okay, this card's a fire to G as well. Interesting. Four fire to Gs, okay. <gasps> oh, goodness. Okay. So we'll go. We can't ultra space or anything, can we? No. I didn't think we could. We have three reset stamps. Where's our greens at? Three are in the deck. Alright. So we'll. Cynthia Caitlin. We'll discard a choice element. To get like a Malo Alana to draw three. Okay. So we go here, uh, double custom Basuflion, put a water energy, hmm, well energy spinners in the deck out, okay, and then, I could probably should have grabbed a water energy for Karagnol. Um, and then we'll ultimate ray for 180. Take into your price cards. We'll get metal, metal, water, and put on the new guy. Two and three. I was looking for. Well, the draft it wouldn't be very good right now. We got another th uh, th four price cards. There's a green to stamp him next turn. There's a metal. Okay. Yeah, probably should have the water and we could stamp Frozen Lock them for 80. And that would be really good. We still could do it this turn. We can go for the Energy Spinner. But then, yeah, I mean, I think that's a good play. I mean, they're probably going to have a Retaliation. Yep, there we go. So they're going to go down to 3. The Pidgeotto, an Airmail, Poke Gear, another Welder. Okay, let's see if they have all of it. I mean, they got like a billion ways to hit it this turn. So, Airmail, we'll just wait our turn. Just wait in our turn. This is why I put selfie on so good. Especially because they got four Pidgeotto. But they have to deal with these Kragnals. And that could be a hard thing to deal to deal with. So Stella Wish. Cause they're about to use a bunch of um fires to discard here. But if he doesn't buy the crystal right now, we might have an advantage. Okay. 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 Seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have five fires left in the deck. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I think we send up Arceus Dialga and just see what we hit first. And then we'll go for greens. So we got the energy spinner. And a stamp. 
Okay. I think we stamp them. So energy spinner for water. Okay. We'll go water switch to Kragnall. Stamp them to three. And then we'll froze lock them. Alright, so we'll see what they get here. So they can't play Fiery Flint or Welders or, or Crystals. They got 10 in the deck already, or 10 out in the field. So they need two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I mean, they're saying 10 cards. That's all I can say. Like, they got a lot of options here. But we're never try to stamp them again next turn. Put them down to two and just cross our fingers. So we'll see if he finds a double fire. That's the first step to find the double fire. Okay, so he's got the double fire. Okay. So here is the hard part. We're going to stamp up the two and hope it's enough. Hello. Hello. All right, so grab a, we'll grab a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Poke gear. <laughs> For Guzman Hala. If we don't hit this, like, uh, greens, that's the first problem. And we do hit it. All right, so get the greens. We'll go greens. To grab a stamp. And a chaotic swell. And then we just kind of cross our fingers, right? Chaotic swell, so they can't, they can't find Basathleons. We'll stamp them to two. And then we'll see. Well, ultimately, this is the plan. Because now they have to find eight. No, they have to find nine fire energies this turn. <laughs> Oh, uh, they have to find nine fire to use this turn. So we'll see. Oh, they gotta find nine fire to use a Bosophion, a Welder. Okay. So there's four. I just don't see how they hit it. What do they do? Power to my opponent. So we'll see. Only two in the deck. That's great news for us. So airmail. Man, if I don't think there's any way they can do this. To be honest with y'all, be really surprised if they do this somehow. Airmail number three. Yeah, if they hit, <laughs> man, it's, I'm just going to wait. We're just going to wait and see. That's all up to my opponent now. We played it as good as we can do. They have no way to search out the Basophions since we Chaotic Swell them. So that's good. They fill their bench up with too many Pidgeotto's. Like, four Pidgeotto's busted. I get that. But now you have no way of searching out your Basophions because you don't play Pokemon Communication. <laughs> and he's not thinning anything out before he uses a Stellar Wish. Which is usually a good sign. Alright, there's an escape board. One, two, three. So out of six cards, does he have Welder, Basophilon, and nine Fire Digis? Ooh, Polka Doll to buy him a turn. Love it a lot. I love that play. Alright, on our turn. I mean, I guess all we can do really is like, because that's not going to grab it. This is not going to grab it. This is our only chance. We'll do this. We'll discard Arceus Dialga. Grab a greens. Draw on three. Find me a poke. Uh, we'll attack all the thinner deck down. 
There is another cat. There is another custom catcher in here. We just didn't find it, unfortunately. Alrighty. The doll. Does it save my opponent? I, I've seen the list. The one doll. Wow. We'll see if it makes a difference. Because we're greens next turn. We got the catchers. You can see pretty much all of his cards. We just didn't hit the greens, unfortunately. So we'll see. We'll be able to my opponent again. Once again, he can't search for selfie lines, but I mean, he's going to see a ton of cards. We'll see. Does he have it or not? I mean, I'd be shook if he's if he missed it this time. He can't hide behind a doll unless he stamps it this time. Because we got greens. We got the double custom. Bring up Pidgeotto. Take a knockout. We've got it all. We've seen the four Pidgeotto controls. He's going to Stella Witch. He's seen everything in his deck um, twice now. Moment of truth. That doesn't knock us out. That only does two. So that's not a knockout. Most you can do is 200. He needs a stamp here. Does he have another stamp? Because he played... Oh, he hasn't played any stamps, actually. So this probably doesn't play stamp. So we will greens for another custom. We will double custom up a Pidgeotto. And we will use the good old Ultimate 180 damage, taking down the Basuffin on deck. Like I said, it will be pretty hard for him to knock out, like... Both of those things. So there we go. Uh, so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's another quick, short video, but I mean, we've seen this deck. I think it's really cute with the greens expiration because you gotta find whatever you want to disrupt your opponent. I don't know which one is better, if it's greens or not the greens, but this is pretty much a really good matchup to see. Like this deck is really good against this deck, and you kind of see like, all right, the Caragnal is really good. Like being able to disrupt your opponent and make them like, you, you kind of force them to like knock out these Caragnals. And if we had another Cragnall and, like, stamp him to one, that's even better. Like, if we could have used this guy twice to knock out um, Basathions, and then we go to down to two, and then we stamp him, and then alter, and then use this guy to take the last prize card, that would have been busted. But you're always in, a, like, in a shaky situation against this matchup, because if they go turn two, go crazy, you can easily lose the game. So, guys, there we go. There's Green's ADP. I'm not sure which one is better, but I think the deck is really, really solid. I think it's a lot of fun. And um, I'm just really excited for Archer's Dog and Palkia. It's, it's really busted, and I love the card a lot. But, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow for Friday, where we finish up the top eight decks. And, uh, yeah, then next week we'll start over again, start new. It's December. Uh, countdown. Can we hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year? Probably not, but who cares? Alrighty. Bye.